This is ABV, Allen Broadcasting Company from London. Today, I'm going to discuss the book A Mind for Numbers by Barbara Oakley. Uh, she wrote this book to help and give guide, guidelines for students to excel in their studies. Well, let's discuss a few points that she has mentioned which can help in your studies. First, she says to have focused and diffused mindset. Second, to always focus on your process rather than your product. Third, to have always a positive thinking or an attitude towards whatever you are doing. Fourth point is to the best way to learn something is to teach it to somebody else. Coming to the first point, that is focus and diffuse mindset. Let me put this into another perspective. Imagine you are climbing Mount Everest, because yeah, studies is something equivalent to Mount Everest. And when you are climbing, you will never climb the whole Mount Everest in a single day. You will, you will uh, walk, you will climb a little bit, a bit, then set up a base station, you check if everything is okay, you have all your gears are uh, fine, nothing is broken, you have food, water, you take a bit of rest, you recollect yourself, and then you keep continuing going up. But still you will have regular intervals of break, so that you have more energy to climb higher altitude. Similar thing we have to apply in our studies. That is, when you are giving our focus or when you are studying, you give your full focus and you try to do the maximum and the best. But as I have told you earlier, we have to take about a break, uh, maybe in one hour's time or whenever you feel like, like in after you have done some, some amount of work. Then you take a break, you reorganize yourself, you try to go have food or you take a bath or even if you take a power nap or you get a good night's sleep, this actually helps you to tap into your unconscious mind and whatever you study will become more permanent in your, he in your head. So she says that we are supposed to have the ability to do, switch ourselves between the focus mindset and a diffuse mindset and this should work hand in hand so that whatever you study stays stays with you and does not uh, does not fade away so then coming to the second point uh, we all know that procrastination is the main reason why uh, it's a, the main villain we have that stops us from uh, learning so now how can you uh, get rid of this villain then uh, for that she says uh, if we are focusing on the product that is like Suppose you have 10 math problems and you will be worried, oh no, I have 10 math problems, that's so much I will do later. So there you go, you start a procrastination. So, so instead of that, what she says is we have to f try to focus on the process. We have to say that, okay, we have 10 problems, at least I'll do two of them and then do the rest later or something like that. But as soon as you get involved, you automatically get out uh, that that your uh, feelingness of not doing it will go and you start doing it and before you know it you might even finish your homework so if you if you focus on your action you start doing a bit at least uh, and then you try to build it up you know you finish your work rather than you thinking oh it's a big mountain and it's really hard to do it and then another thing is about procrastination is that procrastination is the pain you have in you to start something, the anxiety, but if you start off with it, you, you actually get along. So another thing is like, if you have a positive mindset or you, you have a positive thinking, you show some confidence, You that is enough to build confidence in you and it will uh, automatically you will start doing it. So it's a positive mindset to be, to be kept so that you avoid procrastination and automatically you become, you get more time in what you're doing. Next, next best way to study is by teaching teaching someone. It doesn't matter. You can teach yourself, your family members, your cat, dogs, or even your shari lamp. It's, it's because when you teach, you try to recollect whatever you study studied. So as I again told you earlier that uh, quizzing is the best way to learn. Same way, you will be quizzing yourself. Oh, what did I learn when you teach someone? So teaching is the best way you can learn and to put it in a simpler term it's be the best way to te learn, teach someone is to teach as if you're teaching to a five-year-old because you have to make it into the basic concepts 
and once you're teaching it'll automatically get registered in your in your head and you will uh, you will become more fluent in uh, more confident in it so talking about fluency uh, I, my next video is I'm going to talk about fluency and mastery so you actually are not fluent of your work but you are a master of it so stay tuned for that so let's round up this that is we are supposed to have a focused and diffuse mindset so that you can uh, focus what you're doing and then get reorganized and come back and do it with more efficiency. The next two points are to avoid procrastination, the main villain. If you focus on your action, you start off doing it, you'll automatically get along and finish it. Whereas if you if you're scared of the end product, if the end product is something massive, you might just avoid it. So. Just get started with it and it'll work. The next one is to get started with it, you show some confidence. You believe in yourself and continue doing it. You will automatically conquer anxiety. That's a procrastination and you get along. And the fourth point is, well, if you want to learn something, just try teaching it to someone and you will feel, you will understand that you have learned it also. Thanks for watching. Uh, look forward for my next video also. Thank you.